Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my son's world of dance console quickie videos. I said quickie video last time, and it ended up being 15 minutes. So it wasn't such a quickie, but you know, sometimes quickie should last 15 minutes. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, this video, what I'm going to do is another one that I'm doing really quick for newer players. Um, not scripted. I haven't even thought it through. I just thought, hey, I should make this video really quick. Settings. Some people may not know how to get to the settings. And what you'll do is, see right here, it doesn't say settings anywhere on here. It doesn't tell you how to go into your settings at all. Down bottom, it should have a, a button. It has a button for invite, for, for platoons. So you look on your controller and you say, oh, okay, that one means I can invite players to a platoon. The on opposite of that, right to the right of it, you click that, and it brings up a menu adjust your controls replays you can watch replays you can broadcast your game if stream it if you want a game guide we're gonna take a look at that here in a minute achievements and challenges track your track your progress of course this is a link to an outside to the to the website um, that's what all them shortcuts are stats clan tank rewards or quit we're gonna go up to settings really quick we're going to click A, and right here you have Invert, Y Access, Off or On, Toggle Zoom, um, which means if you want to zoom in, if you click the button once, it stays that way, and you have to click it again to shut it off. I don't have it set that way. I've always played with it off, just the way I've played. Inverted Reverse, I shut off, again, just the way I learned how to play, and I've never forced myself. Some people love it on. Um, I tried it and I, I can't I don't feel like forcing myself to learn it I mean I know how to use it but it just I always catch myself off guard with it and toggle as artillery zoom I don't play artillery so whatever um, heading sensitivity I'm gonna change that on this account I'm gonna click a and that highlights it and then use my controller to move it over and then I'm going to pull down hit A again so it highlights it and put that over to 65 I don't know if that's the number I want or not but that's what I'm getting from here I'm gonna hit the right bumper and go to other options uh, the actual options not controls um, I'm actually gonna go to licenses licenses there's nothing here on the Havoc platform I think they changed it I don't think it was a Havoc platform before was it I think that's why we uh, I read a little bit here or there that's why the game is so different it went from the um, crisis engine to the havoc engine so they had to redo the whole game if that's the truth they just should have come out and told us they just should have come out and told us hey our 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 lease on on the crisis engine has expired um so we are redoing it on a different engine so bear with us for the next six months while we you know i would respect that not try to pass us off as some great upgrade because we all know Anyone that's been around more than a year knows 6.0 was not an upgrade. This is World of Tanks 1.0 again. They should have just renamed it 1.0 and just let people know what happened. I'm done off my soapbox with that. Let's go back to options. Vibration, on or off. I keep it on. I have it shut off my, my controller, though, so it doesn't matter. I don't like the vibration. So, Aim assist. Always shut this off, people highlight it click it to off move to the next one you don't want aim assist because then your the game tries to help you aim but more often than not it moves you off the target you're looking at get rid of it horizontal stabilization I put this on I never used to have it on I used to have it off um, but I think it makes it easier with with auto lock I could be wrong um, but I typically turn it on. It just keeps the from bobbling around a little bit. Rotate radar. This is off, and you used to be able to have the square ro map rotate, from what I've been told. I never had it do it, but people who said that the square map used to rotate too, I never did that. I always just kept it static where it was. Um, but now what I read was you can shut the radar off from spinning when you're on the circle map um, I use the big map 
anyway, so I don't need it on. Map location, um, this is where your mini map will go. If you click this, you can put it to top left or bottom right. I keep it in the bottom right because I'm just old like that. I like old school, man. Default server, NA Europe default. Might as well put that on NA. Additional efficiency indicators. This gives you the little battle indicators and stuff that goes on. I just leave it on. Colorblind mode, default, red, green, green, purple. I leave it on default because I actually kind of like the blue blue and orange. Me, I actually do like the blue and orange. Whatever, you know. Gamma, you can adjust that and bring your dark or light. Keyword about there, about 50% is usually good. Um, on a side note, when I watch videos from other people on YouTube, one of my pet peeves, this doesn't look good to me. When you do that, so you can see everything? No. Does that look good to anyone? Bright like that? I know it makes you see the dark maps better, but no, not for me. Not for me. So, Gamma, we're gonna, oh, which it didn't even change. Can I, whoops, accept. Now let's go look at it, hold on, hold on, now. Let's go look at it now. Does that look better? Do you think that, does anyone here think that looks better? There's certain YouTubers that have their gamma turned way up so they can see better on dark maps. I can't even watch your videos. I can't do it. I, I, I can't do it. Power to them if that's what they like, but we're going to go like probably 50-ish. I think I had it on 65. Eh, 50, let's do 55. Okay. Safe zone calibration. This moves everything in the game um, basically basically your overlay you used to stretch this out as far as you could and what it did was it made your mini map and everything as far out to the corners the actual game never changed it's just the overlay of your like your ammo your HUD that this affected nowadays I'm not so sure um, I, I'm going to put it all the way, whatever. Hide battle interface. Um, this will hide different things in, in the UI. Um, I like seeing stuff, so. Uh, obviously, these are the mo master volume, master volume, the master volume. Music volume, I usually turn that down. Whoops. We don't need the music way up. I actually have it shut off on my account. Um, sound effects, in-game voiceover, in-game chat, and then in-game chat, what do you want to hear? Oops. Platoon mute all enabled. I want in-game chat enabled so everyone can hear me. Right? I think that's correct. I don't know why it's only platoon. Oh, I know. If you're... I'm not sure... I think if you have it on platoon, it still works in game if you're not in a platoon. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm going to just leave it like that. Enabled. We'll go back here. and Ah, uh, that looks much better. So that's a pretty much the rundown of the settings. Um, and uh, that's the settings I use. Whether you will or not, hey, it's up to you. But a few of them, like I said, the um, the auto aim, I mean the auto aim assist or whatever it is there, that, that you got to shut that off quick. You don't want that on. Um, and the quicker you do the the rotation, the quicker your turret rotates. Well, no, I should say that it's not the quicker your turret rotates; it's the quicker you rotate. Your turret will only rotate as fast as the turret will rotate. So, hope you enjoyed it quick video i kept this one under how many minutes under 10 minutes i'm the man man hope you enjoyed the video comment or subscribe thumbs up thumbs down remember when you're on that battlefield shoot the red ones